Hi, I'm Tony Mormer and this is the soundtrack of my life. So the first song I remember hearing, as far as I can remember, was Brotherhood of Man, Save All Your Kisses. And me and the family was out in Victoria Park in Hackney. And it was a summer day and it takes me, I don't know how old I was, I was like four or something. And that's one of, that's one of the first songs I remember hearing. It was all those songs around there that went on to make me want to write songs and stuff. The first song I fell in love with um, was probably a Boney M song by the Rivers of Babylon, I think, um, when I was a kid. Well, going back to that age again, when I was a kid, about six or seven, and I was living in Hackney, and uh, I think, that, yeah, they were good times, and I think it's by the Rivers of Babylon. I just love that song. Um, and I grew up, I was a Catholic as well, so there was a lot of church in my early life. And Boney M would obviously mention Jesus and all that, so it was a very cool thing uh, back then. First album I ever bought, um, I can't remember. I think it was Madness. I think it was Madness, One Step Beyond or something. Oh, I love Madness because they sung in a, a London accent that I could understand and I could relate to and their songs I could relate to. And um, I wish I'd done a bit more of that in my songwriting, and that's one of those little niggles that you want to try and address always, that I think I wish I'd wrote songs a bit more like they did, that people could relate to more, and they was a bit less poetic and a bit less dreamy. Um, I think I would have liked to have done that. The one song that made me want to make music, I don't know. Gosh, um, the one song that made me want to make music. So many songs really made me, uh, I just used to love music, but in a crazy way, really get into the music, really get into the song. But there were so many people, even the specials, um, Madness, You're an Embarrassment. Do, do. I used to love that song, um, because when we was growing up, loads of people we knew were you know, embarrassments to their family, getting arrested and stuff, so that, it just struck a chord. Um, God, I don't know, that's such a hard question. The song I can no longer listen to, um, oh my God. Um, I'm just gonna throw this one out there, probably Faith and George Michael, because I really liked it in the day, but now you listen to it and it's just not, I probably can't listen to that anymore, but you know, that's not saying it's a bad thing, I listen to some. Crazy songs, but um, yeah, probably Faith, George Michael. <laughs> song by another artist that I wish I'd written. Once again, it's one of the things that inspire me to keep writing. I'm still trying to, you know, write great songs like that. Um, I Will Always Love You. Um, Dolly Parton, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so many songs. I mean, Michael Jackson's songs, Human Nature. Um, gosh, so many songs. Father Figure, George Michael. Song I Want Played at My Funeral. Um, the Witch is Dead from... <laughs> from was that uh, Wizard of Oz? No, the song I want played at my funeral. Um, I'm not going to say my way. Um, the song, since I was a kid, um, probably Purple Rain, Prince. I just, I just love the song. It's just a song of trying trying to make people happy. I think it's a, uh, I love that song. It's, you know, it's one of my early influences as well. I gave up trying to write songs like Prince. He's just, he was a genius.